Hey y'all, welcome back to another new episode of Reacting to Dogs. So this one is Reacting to Dogs' Birthdays, and some of them are really funny. I did pre-watch them just to make sure that there's no kind of copyright that would happen or whatever. Um, but let's get right into it. I'm super pumped. Okay, number one, here we go. Hmm, that's a beautiful charcuterie board. <laughs> He looks a little older, so he is a senior dog is what I did read, so I guess you would have to help him eat it. If it was human food, which some I see, I'd help. <laughs> Aww. That's a heavy tray for those dogs. I just hope they don't get sick or whatever. I mean, there's some healthy stuff on there too, which is good, good to see, but I would not be able to give my dog that much food. I would just... I don't know, I feel like that'd be too heavy for them. I get it once in a while isn't the worst, though. Oh. <laughs> They're so excited, though. At least there's two of them. Oh, <laughs> That's a massive bone in the middle. Well, happy birthday, even though it's probably, this one was probably taken a while ago. But that is so sweet. I just love it. Oh. <laughs> Well, happy late birthday and on to the next. Um beautiful dog. Beautiful dogs, just easy to easy to share food with. They're not protective over the food, which is nice. Um that's a beautiful dog charcuterie board. I love it. Okay, on to the next. On to number two, the second we're moving over to another birthday party. Here we go. Your dog only turns thirteen once, so you throw him a birthday party. Oh. <laughs> A little spoiled that day. I love it. I love doing those things for animals. Oh, just incredible. <laughs> Little memories. His um, his birthday. His cake. His candles. And now destroy the cake. Present time. All the toys he got. Oh. That's a big bone. Um, I have, okay, so I don't necessarily have an issue with dog bones, obviously. Those are made for for dogs. I'm liking a little bit, but um, I haven't, it's not that I have an issue with that. I have an issue with, um, I think it's dentist sticks. I think it's that one, or it's it's a different kind. It's a, it's a certain brand, but we believe we got, uh, it gave our dog seizures because right after he ate it, like, yes, he had seizures from before and uh, from, from like, even being in the kennels or boarding or whatever. I think he hurt himself pretty badly at one of the kennels that when we were out of town, and I'll never board any of my dogs ever. I'll look for someone to watch them before I board them because our dog I think got injured and ever because ever since like it was one weekend we were away from Minneapolis and this was years ago our dog has passed on bless his heart but he um we had to put him in a shelter just because he because we were going out of town and then when we got back we got him back and then ever since he had seizures so that something happened whether he was given some bad food like like or not bad food that the workers didn't know about but like food that wasn't meant for him you know what I mean like like those like Beneful he shouldn't have eaten Beneful because that's not a good brand and then it caused that and then it caused a lot of kerfuffle down the road so I am hesitant to give dogs bones just because of that happening anyways that is, sorry for that little rant there, but that was number three, two. Number two, and we're on to number three, and then the third birthday party to go to today. Number three. It was my dog's first birthday, so I threw him a dream party. I love how, how um, these people go all out for their dogs for their birthdays. Wow. <laughs> I love it, pup cups. Oh. Letson's first birthday. You're invited. The invitation is even so cute. The glasses. Oh, <laughs> this is the best. Oh, and the cake. Of course, everyone gets a goodie bag for their dogs. And then 
every you know dog parties are just the way to go these days <laughs> honestly even if it's not a birthday it's it would just be fun to to just throw a dog or a dog party have all your dogs get together and just you it gives you an excuse to get together with your friends and family too um anyways that is number three okay on to number four on to the fourth birthday party my dog's 11th birthday party turned out. I love the balls in the tub or in the pool. Oh my god. <laughs> that was. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Um, is that a uh, terrier? If you're hearing commotion, it's because my dad's home for lunch. Oh my god. This is. I would love to do this for my dog. A huge birthday party. It looks like so much fun. A pool in the back. Oh, definitely doing that for my dogs. Mommy's baby. Oh, I already know my dog's gonna love this. I mean, he's gonna be so happy seeing all these decorations. And loot bags, goodie bags, doggy bags. Those are awesome. Thanks for coming to my party. Love. Espresso snowman, oh. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love this little dog's life jacket. Aww. <laughs> Beautiful animals, eh? Oh, splash time, splash pad. Oh no, I wanted the ball instead. <laughs> I'm throwing a dog party at some point soon. Maybe cute to do like a, a bait, like a puppy one, and then a senior one. Um, or, in, or in between two. Oh, that's a big cake. I would not let my dog have that big of a cake though. Too big for the bellies. I'm sure it will, because I guess every dog gets a little piece, right? Oh. Well, these dogs get like a day of being spoiled. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Oh my god. That's a big stick for that little doggy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love it. That turned out great. That seems like that's an awesome party to throw. I'm throwing a dog party. This is like, this is going to happen. Okay. On to the next one. Now on to the fifth one. Fifth birthday party we are moving on to. Just thinking about how a daycare threw my dog a birthday party without me asking. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's so happy. That's so cute. <laughs> His little, oh, I love it. So cute. Okay, I think I did a little loop, so you are gonna see the whole shindig of the video there i didn't mean to do that um but you'll just get a little extra s smile from him and yeah he's so sweet i love this other dog in front of him his eyes are really blue sort of and that's that one so fun so cute okay we are down to the last two and then i have a little special shout out that i'm gonna do at the end for this one that i saw that was really sweet um but let's do this okay i made a dog homie pin pinata for his birthday here's how it went first he was scared but wanted his treat <laughs> then happily confused Aww. He's like, what? What's go what is this? More happy confusion. Why? Why can't I get my treat? Why is it doing this to me? Success for him. 
but big feel for the pinata. <laughs> yeah, because it didn't pull down properly. Okay, on to, but that's awesome. Would you do a pinata for your dog? Which birthday party have you? Would you think you would have the most fun at? Comment below. I'd love to hear your answers. Okay, last one. Another pinata one. Big surprise. Oh, <laughs> they can't get it. Oh no. <laughs> Taking some time to get this ball, that's for sure. Sorry if you hear my dog upstairs. Oh my god. Aww. Oh, oops, that was me. Oh, there we go. They got their balls. That's awesome. That's a nice little surprise for them. Okay, and then I'm going to do something else after this one. So just bear with me here. So there is one that it's not really a reaction because I saw it already, but I wanted to bring awareness about saving dogs and um, rescuers. And I love what the res dog rescuers do. Um, bring them to a shelter and feed them and nourish them and take care of them. Especially when you find them very malnourished. Um, this one here stuck out to me a lot. Well, all of them stick out to me. I, but what really, sorry, made me think this one a little bit more. And people just get a slap on the wrist when it comes to abandoning their dogs in the park. And it really bugs me because we are trusted to take care of these animals. If we, if, you know, this is your choice. You chose to adopt this dog you gotta take care of it it's your life companion um so what bugs me is when people do abandon them in the park and you know and part of me thinks like you know we can't bring them to to more moving so we can't take them with us that's heartbreaking for some people that's possibly that's a very big there's a, it's a very, that sucks overall and you know you gotta just learn how to rehome them whether um whether you know you can or can't take them in and if you can't rehome them um then then take them to the shelter because at least they'll be cared for uh, instead of dumping them out to starve they'll be cared for they'll have food they'll have water they'll have shelter the three things animals need but the one thing an animal wants is a loving home so it does it is heartbreaking um but that's all i have to say about this one i i'm not gonna let it go on for too long but like if you could see that dog is very malnourished and i'm not gonna talk about who did it because that you could get the story on her tiktok or the dad challenge podcast the dad challenge podcast he talks a lot about child exploitation and this one brought it i was brought to his attention <coughs> um you know, and I love seeing, I might do a reaction of dogs seeing, um, dogs being rescued from the roads and stuff like that. I might do a reaction on that one. I think that would be very sweet, bittersweet kind of. It's really sweet that this girl, Michaela, took her in, um, and treated her. I don't know if I, if she brought her to a shelter, I can't remember off by heart, um, there is online though is a what is it called um a gofundme so please go check out that gofundme if you can donate if not no big deal um but we're gonna get this dog a home every dog deserves to be in a loving home no dog should be on the street but unfortunately that's not how the world works and I wish, and one day I have a dream of having a dog sanctuary so that, um, so that the dog sanctuary or whatever can, um, uh, so that they can just drop them off to, to us, be loving, caring, and they'll be adoptable. Anyways, that is it for us today, for me. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Go check out this girl's TikTok and bring awareness to stopping people from dumping their dogs in the park. It should be illegal. If you, It should have to be by law that you either commit to them for the next 10 to 15 years that they're alive or that you bring them to a shelter. 
or if not, it's like a ten thousand dollar fine. I I wish that was possible, or or jail time. I don't know, but seriously, it's it's awful to do that to dogs because they're so scared and fragile, and they become very vulnerable. Anyways, that is it for me. Have a, sorry for that last sadness. Let me know what birthday party you loved going to. I loved going to all of them. Uh, thanks for having me. No. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, it was really cute. I'm definitely going to be throwing a dog party from now on. Okay, bye now.